Welcome back everyone to the topic of the week. And the topic of the week this week is addiction. And I chose this topic first of all because in this season, especially with a new year coming along, I feel like there are a lot of people that are having some reflection time and realizing that they may be an alcoholic or they may be an addict of some sort, whether that's to drugs, medication, sex, people, to exercise, it could be, you can get addicted to literally anything. So what are the causes? Well, as you may already know, and from watching my videos, is that I do RTT, which is based on hypnosis. And the brilliant thing about this is that we can access your subconscious mind where all your beliefs, a lot of your knowledge and wisdom is stored and where all the answers to your questions are. So why am I an addict? Why have I got anxiety? Why have I got fears? Why am I scared of birds? All of these issues that we have are actually, you have all the answers. You are the solution to your own problem, which is actually so beautiful, right? Why do we become addicts? So there are several beliefs. One of the beliefs is I am not enough. I'm not smart enough, good enough, uh, good looking enough, intelligent enough, rich enough. I am just not enough for what I am. But we are, we are born complete. We're born more than good enough with that belief that we are confident and we love ourselves. But as our life progresses and we meet all these people, we meet our parents when we are born, we have all these different imprints that make us feel like we aren't good enough. Maybe it's for something quite minor where your parents are working a lot and they're never really there and you don't feel like you're good enough because they're never there. So if you were good enough, then they would show up, right? That's the kind of beliefs that we get as children and as innocent as we are back then, we, we see things from a completely different perspective. If we're five years old, we're not gonna say, oh, but my dad and my mom, they're really busy and they're working so hard to provide for me and I'm so grateful. No, we just see it as, I'm, they're not here. What? Do they love me? Is it because I'm not good enough? It must be because of that. Boom. Imprint made. And then as life goes on, this belief comes up because there's this wound there, right? So you'll get anything to confirm that belief. More and more situations. And that wound just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we get to an age where we start experimenting. When we're 14, 15 years old, a lot of people start smoking at that age. They try alcohol, they mix with drugs, smoke a little bit of weed, and then it progresses into something else. But there's also another belief of, I am empty. I just feel empty. And that is something that comes up, and I do this with my clients, my addiction clients, is we go back to the cause of what caused that feeling of emptiness. Because if you feel empty, you will want to fill yourself up, whether it's with food or with alcohol or with drugs, it doesn't really matter. It's anything to make you feel alive, to feel complete, to feel normal. And actually I remember from my experience from addiction that I used to take a certain type of drug and then I take another one to balance myself out and actually all I wanted was to be normal and to feel whole but I felt so broken and a lot of people have this feeling of feeling completely broken empty and actually especially with the holidays coming up a lot of people may be noticing that they may drink too much or they may uh you know do other things a little bit too much and when is too much, too much, right? It's when your life starts slowly falling apart and when that pattern arises, when someone tells you, oh, it's it was because of the drink, it was because of the drink, and then you lose your job or someone breaks up with you. And this, this, this common factor of the drinking, the drug consumption, and the way you're feeling that you need to drink it, and then you make all these excuses of denial. It's like, yeah, but it's so-and-so's brother's uncle's sister's cousin's birthday. So I have to go and have a drink, right? We think of the most random excuses to do what's actually really not good for us. To justify that behavior because we don't want to admit, I am an alcoholic. I am an addict. I have an issue and I need to fix it. Because it's so much easier to just grab a glass of wine 
do some drugs and get away from those negative feelings and just avoid all of that pain. That's what we think, right? But we know and you know that this is not the solution because it becomes destructive. It tears people apart. And I am 100% certain that you know someone or know of someone that is an addict or an alcoholic or has some form of addiction and how destructive that can be. So because this is something that I experienced myself and I'm very open about it, I have no shame towards it, no feelings of guilt. That is also something that we have to work through, right? It's just one thing is removing that addiction and releasing it. But another thing is all the issues that come attached to it. It's not just the addiction to cocaine, the addiction to, to a person, to sex, to pornography. It's the lack of boundaries, the codependency, the, the feeling of not feeling good enough. The, all of these other factors, the feeling of shame, guilt, embarrassment, there are so many experiences that we have in our life, especially when we transform into these addicts, right? We, we do a lot of things that we may be ashamed of. And afterwards, the, the guilt, the, the, the actions that we, that we did when we were on drugs or when we were drinking, right? How do we get rid of that? Well, all of this has the simple solution of, doing hypnosis and I would also want to add meditation is a great way to keep your mind clear and to keep you calm you can do five minutes a day maybe start with a few minutes two to three minutes and that will be sufficient right and as you get on and as you feel more comfortable doing that process of meditating and or just being silent listening to some very calm music with no no lyrics in it no words in it and just focusing on your breath and just focusing on the sounds that you hear around you, you know, just being in this present moment because we keep wanting to go to other moments. We don't want to be here when we're suffering, right? We want to be somewhere else. And that's why we take ourselves to another place by doing drugs, by having that glass of wine. It's a way to distract ourselves from the feeling of sadness, of hurt and all of those other negative emotions. So I welcome you with open arms. If you feel that you may be suffering with some form of addiction, get to it before it gets too late, right? Because I know a lot of people that have died from addiction and I was very, very close to. Fortunately, I am not and I am still here and I am grateful every single day to be alive. And I think that's why we have these experiences, right? We have these horrible breakups, we have abuse, we have all of this negativity, and then we get through it and we come out better, transformed, we've learned. And this is why we have these experiences, these negative experiences. When you feel triggered afterwards, you can heal why you got triggered. Why did I get angry at this person? Why do I feel so resentful? Why do I blah, 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 blah. Once you heal that, then you'll be grateful that that even I'm so grateful that I, I was an addict. I know that sounds ridiculous because it nearly killed me, but I am grateful because it made me wiser. It made me more grateful for every second on this planet, for the people around me, for my closest and dearest friends who've been so loyal and so trusting and so loving towards me. Right. This is why this happens and we need to be grateful for the negative things that happen in our life as hard as that may seem because some people and some of you may have, you know, experienced some severe trauma. But there is a way of getting through this and you know what my solution will be. It will be RTT and if you'd like any more information or just a free call with me, then you can book that on my website, leliahypnosis.com. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your comments, all your feedback. I'm so very, very grateful for each and every one of you. And I wish you the most amazing holidays. Don't drink too much. Have the best time of your life. And I love you all. Big kiss. Bye.